But the reality is when you start, you usually don't notice huge, huge issues. But as soon as your system grows and as soon as your user base grows, what used to be an edge case that happened maybe once every month, now is going to happen multiple times per day because with, with increased amount of traffic, increased amount of uh, troubles along the lines. And usually at that point, you need to start dealing with things such as observability, error reporting, metrics, retries over network uh, operations, and so on and so forth. And all of those concerns really have nothing to do with your product or your application feature-wise. They are on the side. What happens is at that point in time, you're gonna introduce those concerns in your code base and your code from looking like it's only caring about the happy path, it's gonna look like it cares about everything else but the happy path. I've seen code bases that integrate observability and so on and so forth in plain TypeScript. It's a nightmare of nested try catches and you're gonna tap into type and safety because you don't really have typing over error channels, typing over dependencies, which you need. Well, you need dependency injection if you if you want to test your software, but many of those solutions are really not type safe in the sense that they don't make the types explicitly, uh, explicit no. in, in your code. So you end up with uh, this nightmare of untyped JavaScript, which only hurts because then software is never perfect, is never done. You, you always have to add features to the code, you have to refactor stuff and an API that you call changes over time. So the software is never finished. And that yeah. means you have to maintain what you've built and you have to extend what you've built. And all of those concerns that you added to your code are going to make those uh, operations very hard. So I've seen from experience a lot of code bases that get to a point, we call it tech depth, gets to a point of tech depth where you can't make any change and you're scared to make something because you add the feature, you break something else and the code becomes really, it's almost, it, almost like it, it, it remains in this state where it works, but we don't really know why it works. And when it doesn't work, we might have some ideas about why it doesn't work, but it's all a mess. 